everybody, JT's Reborn here, and welcome to another edition of my Batman the Animated Series Reviews, and this episode we're going to be taking a look at Two-Face Part 1. Okay, now, the two. this is the first two-parter in the entire series. Now i got to re-watch you know, the next part after I do this video, and then I'll post them together on the same day, but Two-Face Part 1 is one of the best episodes in the entire series. This is definitely in my top ten. I... I for sure put this in, it's like, one of the top ten episodes of this entire show. Um, this episode does a great job, because what the, what the genius thing about this was, like, they had already established in earlier episodes Harvey Dent. They didn't just introduce him in this episode and then show him fall. You, we had already seen him in a couple of episodes prior, you know, Pretty Poison, we established that he had a friendship with Bruce. Um, I believe on Mother Wings they established that he was in there too. Um, i trying to think other episodes but you know you get the idea Harvey Dent was someone who was already like friends with Bruce Wayne he's the district attorney and this is the episode we dive into the psychology of him like how he's really like screwed up as a person and this is this this episode does a perfect job capturing like Two-Face's origin we see a psychological problems he has a split personality he's trying to overcome he's just trying to you know you know repress this dark half of himself and it just keeps getting stronger and stronger and then he finally like you know, snaps by the end of the episode. And so, the beginning of the episode, Harvey Dent is, like, they're trying to do, like, a bust on Rupert Thorne, because, well, I'm, Rupert Thorne, this is his first appearance in the show. Rupert Thorne is, like, a criminal underworld guy. Um, there's another one, I'm trying to think of the other guy. Well, actually, we'll get to him in a few episodes. But Rupert Thorne becomes, like, a factor in a lot of episodes throughout the course of the series. He's just that, you know, piece of shit that you just look at him and you're like, oh, God damn it, it's Rupert Thorne again. You know what I mean? But anyway, so Rupert Thorne is trying to get dirt on Harvey Dent because Harvey Dent's, you know, he's getting reelected and he's just like, he's, he's stopping Thorne as he goes about doing things. And so Harvey, his bust is successful and everything's going good. He's got his campaign for a re-election. Things seem to be going well, but then it turns out like the whole like bust that he did was like, oh, the judge had to throw it out. The warrants weren't all filled out properly. And then, you know, Big Bad Harv starts to come into play there, and he's just like, he's been bought like all the rest. So, yeah, so Harvey's starting to snap. Um, we actually get hints of it. Like, it's just been, like, building and building over the years, and finally, like, it's it, it just takes too much of a toll on Harvey. Um, so he's running for re-election or whatever. He's friends with Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne's trying to, like, okay, Harvey, uh, you need to go see help. And the guy's like, Harvey's with his fiance Grace. And who, by the way, I don't think she appears after this two-parter. She's not really mentioned. Um, but anyways, so basically what happens is he goes to see the psychologist or whatever, or psychiatrist, whatever the difference is. Um, he's just going there, and she's just trying to, like, figure out what's going on. So, like, she'll, like, she'll do, like, perform hypnosis, and then Big Bad Harvey will show up. And then Harvey's just like, no, I, I, I can't do this. I need him to go away. I need the, pro per the split personality to go away. And it's not entirely working i mean he's he seems to be able to suppress it and then thorn and his uh you know girl candace or whatever she's a girl who just like wears like a red suit or whatever uh you know what i mean like she, she looks dressed like gloria all red um like for those of you who understood that reference i think maybe none of you did but you know so her his uh rupert thorn is like one girl like investigates like dad to pull up some dirt on him and then thorn just is decides, you know, I'm going to blackmail you into this. I'm going to blackmail you big time so I can get what I want because you've been screwing me over all this time, Dent. And then he threatens to, like, you know, send everything to the press, and then Dent's, like, he finally just snaps at one pro point. He gets so angry. He's just like, Thorne's like, oh, so uh, what's it going to be, Harvey? He's just like, there's just one problem. You're talking to the wrong Harv. And by the way, Two-Face's voice is amazing. Like, that voice, I mean, I wish I could do it. He's like, guilty. And he, he it just sounds so cool. And he's got the whole coin flip. I love the animation in this episode. Like, just, just some of the shots in that. Like, when he's flipping his coin. Like, there's one, like, when it starts to take the bandages off him. Like, at the end of the episode, I think it's great. Um, so Harvey snaps, and he tries to go after Thorne. Batman comes in to intervene because, you know, Bruce saw that Harvey got taken away in a car to go somewhere and he's just been concerned and worried about him and basically he starts chasing after thorn and then all of a sudden like you know things go wrong some guy machine guns something and then dent gets caught in, like this you know explosion 
and gets severely damaged. And then the funniest reaction to the episode is where Batman just flips him over and sees that he's been damaged. He's like, Harvey, no. <laughs> Whenever I see it, I just crack up. But anyways, so Harvey gets taken to the hospital. Thorn thinks he's, well, some people think they're rid of, they're rid of Harvey Dent, but Thorn's like, I don't know. we got to be cautious about this thing. So Dent's in the hospital, and they do the reveal of the bandages, which earlier, there is an inconsistency in the scarring, though, because earlier, in the, like, before we get to the full reveal, like, his face is bandaged up here, and his, you know, skin kind of matches, like, here, and then, like, here, like, no damage whatsoever. But when they do go to unwrap the bandages, like, where his neck wasn't previously damaged, and, and that right here, it shows as damaged. Um, so at the end of the episode, we get the reveal of Two-Face. And this, in essence, mirrors the scene in Batman 1989. It, it kind of takes, like, the two Joker reveal scenes and combines them together. Where in the first one, Joker's like, mirror, mirror! And so they hand him the mirror, and Dent just freaks out. Just like the, whereas the Joker just started cackling and laughing his ass off. Harvey's like, ah, no! Ah! And then finally, Grace shows up, his fiance to bring him some flowers and to check to see if he's okay. And in essence... We get the big reveal of Two Face, and the animation is terrific here. Well, I love the shot when they're taking off the bandages, and it's kind of like I don't know how you describe the animation quality of it, but it definitely changes from the standard thing. It's almost like a like a, like the rest of them still, and then you know the bandage like just the bandages are moving like the the foreground and the background animation. Um, that's really cool. Um, anyways, we get the reveal of Two Face. It's like you know. She's, Grace looks at him, she's like, Harvey? And then the lightning, he does the big turn, and we finally see, like, the scarring done to his face. And then he just, you know, you just you see his face, and he's kind of just got the mouth open, like, kind of split up like this, all the scarring. And Two-Face just looks great on this show. Like, I love Two-Face on this show so much. I thought he was terrific. The guy who voiced him did an amazing job. Um, let me pull up the guy's name. I always forget his name. Harvey Dent. Richard Mall. Okay, I heard originally they wanted Al Pacino to play him, but you know what? I'm glad we got this guy. This guy sounds really dope, really cool. But yeah, Two Face Dime is great. It's got like the blue here, and it's got like the white hair, and then like it's split perfectly down the middle, and it's crazy hair. And then the episode basically ends with him. He's just like goodbye, and he's finally like, you know, he's just a broken man. It is a really tragic episode because Harvey Dent was someone who was a good guy. He's just trying to do the right thing. And then, like, he just, by repressing all his emotions and all his anger and all the bad that he's done and all the guilt over the years just finally took its toll and his split personality takes over. And it, it is a tragic story. And then Bruce Wayne feels like a failure. Well, we'll get into that to the next episode, but um, Harvey Dent just, just goes through hell. And it's really, it's really a sad ending to this whole storyline because he just was trying to stop Thorne. He's trying to live his life, but shit happens and he became one of Batman's best villains so because there's a and what i like too is like with this villain in particular there's a personal connection between bruce wayne and him and yeah so the episode ends and then we get a to be continued but the personal connection plays out throughout the series because bruce <clears throat> would later on just he'd feel guilty because he feels like it's his fault like he should have been there to save harvey and i just think this is a terrific episode and if you have to check out like out of the first 10 episodes that we've covered through which by the way already on episode 10 boy time flies by when you're having fun I think this is the strongest episode of the first ten. Uh, and then after that, I'm not sure. It's really tough for me to rank all the episodes of Batman the Animated Series. Because, you know, I love them all so much. But <clears throat> just trying to narrow them all down to my personal favorites is just like... But this one, Two-Face Part 1 is definitely in there. And I like Two-Face Part 2, but I think Part 1 is a bit stronger. I don't know. When I, I'm about to rewatch it before I record this again. And we'll see how my thoughts are on it now get what i mean anyways uh it's gonna wrap it up for this video uh, i'm gonna be posting part two simultaneously to part one so you'll go from here and then just go watch the next part so you can hear my thoughts on that episode but spoiler alert i like the episode there too i mean there's no episode of bad in the animated series that's bad there's some that are better than others and there's some i don't care for as much but this two-faced two-parter is fantastic so yeah uh, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of Two-Face Part 1. And then when you're done watching this video, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. 
and then move over to the part two review. So, yep, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll be back right away.